All right, so you, you have this graph. I guess the, the graph has the shape something like, uh, something like this, uh, where this would be negative 1.5. So if you start from negative 1 until 2, you're trying to get the area of this, this portion. Um, now, there's something that I did, didn't really elaborate. When we, what we are trying to do when we do left some trapezoid as Simpson, I simply said it's graph, it's the area under the graph, right? That, but that's only true when it's above the x-axis. Right? What happens if it's below the x-axis? Here's the x-axis and your graph is this. What do those approximations try to approximate? Area so uh, the way we, we work things out is that this is considered as a positive area and things below the x-axis is considered as a negative area. And uh, when some portion is above and some portion is uh, below, we just treat this part as negative and that part as positive and we add them up. That's, that's what we're going after. These formulas that I, I gave you for left sum trapezoid of Simpsons, when you increase the n so that you have like infinite number of subintervals, very, very fine, thin, thin rectangles or whatever, uh, those are trying to approximate exactly that. And some people say it's signed, signed area, and some people talk about it as the net area. So net is like when you have an income, but you, you spend it, then the, uh, if you want to talk about the net of everything, you have to subtract the minuses from the plus. So, so you end up with a net quantity. Okay? That's what this, this net area is. Okay? All right. So that was just a, a side remark. Going back. Uh, the formula for wh whether you're using now some trapezoid or Simpsons, you need to know delta x equals to b minus a over n. It's so fundamental, basic, easy to remember formula. You should always write this first before doing any of these approximation questions. Okay, it's a definite plus. So you write this formula first, and you do two minus negative one over the number of intervals, n is 6, so you have 3 over 6, which is 0. 0.5. Then we have the left sum. The formula for L, L sum is delta x times f of x0. Oh, we have to find x0 and x1. I have to do that first, sorry. Let's do that. x0 is? Negative, negative one. 1. You start from the left hand point. x1 is? Negative 1 plus 0 0.5. You just keep going at this, this step. That's the step size. Negative 1 plus 0 0.5 is negative 0 0.5. Negative 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 0. So x2 is 0. x3 is 0 0.5. You just keep adding 0 0.5 because that's our step size. x4 is 1. x5 is 1.5 x6 is 2. Okay. So the, these are the endpoints of the subinterval. So if I divide this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 subintervals, the endpoints, the locations of these endpoints is what's, what's listed here. Okay? All right. Now, what is the LSUM? LSUM is delta x over n, no. delta x times, there's no, no, not, sorry, That's delta x times f of x0 plus f of x1 all the way up till f of x n minus 1. You start the beginning, x0, include the beginning, uh, you exclude the xn, the very last one, because you, you're using the left end points of each subinterval you don't get to use the last point because that's the right end point of the last <coughs> interval, so that's, that's irrelevant, okay? All right, uh, you have, therefore, <coughs> delta x is 0 
times uh, f evaluated as, so you have f at negative 1 plus f at negative 0 0.5 all the way up to f at uh, 1.5. Now, if you use your calculator to compute this, you're going to get uh, negative 1 plus negative 1, 0 plus 2 plus, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So uh, 5 plus 9. So th these will be the values that you get from a calculator, and you're going to get uh, 7 as a result of the left side. Okay. For the trapezoidal, you need delta x over 2 times f <coughs> at negative 1. The very first number doesn't have anything multiplied, but the next one you start multiplying by 2. And the last one, one before the last one, which is 1.5, also becomes multiplied by 2. Whereas the very last one, you don't multiply by 2. That's the trapezoidal rule. Delta x is 0 0.5 divided by 2, that's uh, 0.25. Maybe it's easier to do 1 fourth. Okay, so let's just say 1 fourth. Uh, then these values will be, this will be negative 1 plus twice of negative 1. Be basically this, twice, twice of 0, twice of 2, twice of 5 twice of 9, and the very last one, which is uh, 14, that one doesn't get multiplied by, by 2. Now, did anyone actually calculate this? Yeah, 10.75. 10.75, okay, so I'll just take your word for it. I think it's right, 10.75. It is, it is. Okay. <coughs> 1, 11, 29. Thirty-three, forty-three. Uh, so it's pretty close. Okay, close enough. Right. All right. S. It's actually not good to say close enough in, in a math class. Right. S is equal to uh, uh, delta x over three. Um, then f of negative one. This time is four two four two. That's repeated, right? And the last one is just 2. And uh, did anyone do this one also? Yeah. 10.5. Yeah, 10.5. Huh? 10.5. 10.5. Right. 10.5. All right. So that's how you use those uh, formulas to actually approximate areas.